Here's one to the science. At least this time the eggheads did everything right. The team is inside the ship. Easy for you to say. You weren't the one staring down a barrel of a plasma gun during scanning. Grow up! What's important is that you have infiltrated the ship undetected. Exercise caution, squad. Genetic tags won't fool the ship's crew and drones. Try to avoid contact with them. And remember, your goal is to capture the Terran alive. Solid copy. Moving out.
package. He's sleeping like a baby. Excellent work. The ship's systems are down. They must have been linked to the turret's mind. We're dispatching an extraction team. Over. Commander, we captured our first live turret. Dr. Wagner is now working on a special interrogation technique to make sure we don't accidentally kill the creature like we did that reptoid. With some luck, we'll soon learn the whereabouts of the alien mothership. Experiment complete. is actually very simple. There's an enemy you must destroy, or they'll destroy you. But what should a man do if no one believes in the existence of the enemy, or worse still, considers them an ally? It turns out that Exodus is working for the aliens, and unlike we previously thought, not all of the cultists are mindless puppets. Some of them truly believe that the aliens are Earth's salvation from all the dangers that the Advent Crisis brought. Thorough study of alien technology allowed us to create more effective methods of detecting and intercepting enemy UFOs. Also, thanks to new gear, our fighters now have an edge over the enemy troops in combat. However, no matter how many UFOs we shoot down, more of them just keep coming. For every alien we kill, another takes its place. Smarter, deadlier, and better equipped than before. The enemy army is led by mysterious masters who, according to the aliens themselves, can't be killed. The only way to know for sure is to infiltrate the enemy HQ. The aliens surely noticed us by now and will do everything in their power to stop us. We're in this fight alone. It appears that the fate of the entire human race depends on our actions. a lot of valuable information about the ship's design during the interrogation of that turret. Unfortunately, we weren't able to learn the most important thing. How do we locate it? Dr. Wagner went really hard on that creature, but it didn't work. Either it doesn't know anything, or it's scared more of its masters than it is of us. I don't have the slightest idea how we can intercept that ship. I'm afraid that all we can do is pray for a little bit of luck. Advisor, why are you using an open channel? Weren't you the one lecturing us on security breaches just the other week? Hold on, I will encrypt the call. There's no time for that. We have a priority alert. All Olympus comms are down. We were barely able to contact you on this open frequency. The enemy may block this.
counting on you. We are completely in the dark here. Earth's High Council is paralyzed, so our alliance and union demand. You are our last hope of resolving this crisis. I have some suspicions about who may be behind this diversion. Advisor? Advisor, come in. Damn, we've been cut off. Damn it! What's your take on this, Commander? It seems like the world is knee-deep, and I suddenly have an urge to talk to that genius who invented the shoddy machines. Accusing me of sabotaging the suppressors, my dear? Such nonsense. Why would a well-renowned scientist such as myself do that? I admit I was driven by the egotistical desires to make a groundbreaking discovery. But to harm humanity on purpose? I'd never do that. Someone is clearly trying to stain my good name. Calm down, Professor. No one is accusing you of anything. We just want to understand what's going on. Why on earth do your suppressors attract the mutants instead of scaring them away? One explanation comes to mind. Someone must have recalibrated the machines to instill the mutants with aggression. The only way to make this stop is to disable the suppressor. Can we do it remotely? I'm afraid not. The suppressor draws energy from the city's main power grid. Shutting it down will mean shutting down the cauldron's dome and all the defenses the besieged city has. We can't allow that. An airstrike won't work either, as the suppressor's core is located deep beneath the ground. The only way I see is getting to the control panel near the antenna and activating the self-destruct sequence. It is impossible, however, since the suppressor is surrounded by a horde of mutants, which you will never get through. In my opinion, there is nothing you can do to disable the device. Our fighters don't know what impossible is. If this is the only way to turn off the suppressor, we'll do it. Experiment complete. Who is that? How do you have access to Senate's channels? Ah, it's you, Commander. Didn't expect you on a secure line. Whatever it is you wish, I have no time for that right now. Goodbye. Senator, wait! We know that mutant hordes are attacking New Liberty City. One of the council members asked us to take care of this situation. We got the encryption keys from him. So, you are that support he promised. I see. Frankly, I don't quite see how you could possibly deal with this crisis. Situation is nothing short of catastrophic. We have lost contact with the Council again, before we can inform them of the latest developments. The information's top secret, but I guess I can share it with you. About an hour ago, aliens contacted us. An official contact. First ever contact with extraterrestrials in the history of humanity. Alliance established contact with the aliens? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. What do they want? Believe it or not, they assure us that they come with good intentions. They are concerned about the disaster that has befallen humanity and offer their help. According to them, they've been living on this planet for a long time, studying the aftermath of the Advanite Crisis. The aliens have come up with special brain implants that make the mutants view humans as friends. They also make one immune to Advanite radiation. Just imagine that going into a hot zone would be like a walk in the park. Senator, we have previous experience with these implants. They turn humans into alien slaves. I have no reasons to doubt your judgment, but other senators seem to believe that aliens can indeed solve all of our problems. And there's no convincing them otherwise. Contact with the Council has been lost. Our megacities are besieged by mutants. Under such circumstances, even the most powerful people hold on to whichever hope they've got, no matter how big. Senator, do not accept their offer. We are going to disable Gronberg's suppressor in New Liberty City. Stall the Senate while we're at it. I will do 
my best, but no promises. Even I think that there might be something reasonable in the aliens offer. And the other senators, they're just hypnotized. In any case, I wish you luck.